HIV is a virus that affects at least 35.3 million people worldwide. Let's take a look at the life cycle of HIV in human cells. First, a receptor on a CD4 cell, which is a cell involved with immune responses, binds with the co-receptor on the surface of an HIV particle, which allows the HIV to fuse with the host cell. The HIV injects its materials, RNA and proteins, into the host cell. HIV is a retrovirus, meaning that it carries RNA and relies on reverse transcriptase, shown here, which makes the single-stranded RNA into a double-stranded DNA, which the eukaryotic cell treats as its own. After reverse transcriptase acts on HIV's genetic material, the double-stranded DNA flows into the host cell's nucleus, as shown before, to be integrated into the genome. Integrase works HIV DNA into the host cell's DNA. HIV genes can lay dormant in a cell for extended periods of time without signs. At the same time, as mitosis occurs in the host cell, HIV's DNA is copied and passed on to each daughter cell producing mitosis. The signal that sparks the transcription and translation of HIV DNA into mRNA is unknown. However, once the trigger occurs, the cell begins to make copies of the HIV DNA, producing mRNA. Some of this RNA acts as mRNA and produces proteins. Other mRNA is produced to go into new HIV particles. HIV mRNA attaches to a ribosome and uses the cell's materials to produce proteins in a long, connected strand. A cleaver protein called protease, shown here, separates the long strand into smaller functional proteins. Because HIV cannot function without the cleavage of the protein chain, many antiviral medications aim to disable protease. Once RNA and proteins have been produced and the proteins have been cleaved, they bundle together under a protein cult called a capsid shown before. This is a nearly complete HIV particle. During budding, capsid enclosed bundles burst out of the cell, taking with them plasma membrane. They also have all of the surface particles and materials needed to infect a new cell and reproduce again. It is important to understand the life cycle of HIV in order to begin developing ways to treat patients with HIV. For more information about the life cycle of HIV, check out any of the websites shown here.